All right. So next up, spread stick. All right, spread stick. You are next on, Doc. Looks like Liberty. Looks like you're ready. Chris, you're ready. Sid, you're ready. Nice. Any questions? Let's go ahead and get started. Team spread stick. Right. When you're ready. All right, before we start, we just like to thank the judges for taking time out of their Sunday to judge the competition. It really means a lot to us that you guys are taking interest in our ideas, our ideas that we created. So we just want to say thank you. I'm Alana Badawi. And I'm Andrew Escobar, and we are the founders of Spreadstick. The problem. You may think, how did we come about this idea? Or what are we solving? Well, I'm going to tell you a story from when I was a kid. As a kid, I was always a picky eater, and I'd always have my mom spread the butter on my toast, because whenever I do it, it'd be too clumpy, and that always made me lose interest in eating it just since I had been a picky eater. Also, I'm an employee at a grocery store, so that kind of helped me develop the idea for this product. Our solution to that is Spreadstick. It's efficient, effortless, and useful. Here, Andrew's demonstrating how to use Spreadstick on corn and toast. With Spreadstick, mornings can be a breeze, taking into consideration that our product is efficient, fast, and easy to use. With Spreadstick, we can deliver a more easier and promising way of spreading butter with no use of utensil. There are also endless possibilities Spreadstick can be used for. What inspired us to make our product is how hard starting the day can be and how most people want to eat a quick breakfast before starting the day. Our mission is to make mornings and busy customers' days feel a little lighter with using spread stick. The graph below shows that during 2020, over 2,070 million pounds of butter were consumed, or around 2.1 billion. That is a crazy number. If you look at the graph below, it only shows the numbers going up from over the years. It's time to change the way we spread butter and make it more convenient for everyone. I, Andrew, being an employee at a grocery store, have a decent amount ex of experience in one of our target markets. I can see a need for the product and I can see it being a big hit to customers. Anything that stands out to make their day a bit easier could be the reason they purchase the product. And that is what the spread stick does best. Our product has a wide range of potential markets from grocery stores to cafes, Families will be able to have the product at their fingertips, taking the spread stick wherever and whenever to use its portability and convenience at whatever time suits them best. Finance. After doing some research, we have to come to find out that a glue stick costs around 10 cents to make. We have found that the container comes very cheap to make along with the glue. This leads us to believe that our product can be developed with the cost of somewhere between 10 to 15 cents to produce one unit. Being that sticks of butter come pretty cheap, we had to develop a price that didn't seem too high for potential buyers. We came to a decision with these prices. One for $1.99, a pack of three for $3.99, and a pack of five for $5.49. Taking labor into account, this puts us at around 15 to 20 cents to fully produce our product. This means if we sell one spread stick, we are profiting $1.79, a pack of three would profit $3.39, and a pack of five would profit $4.49. Being that our design is sleek and attention grabbing, I don't think it's going to be an issue for people to decide to try out our product. If it turns out to be a hit like we hope to expect, I think we could sell a large amount of units in the first year. When selling to wholesalers, we would price one spread stick at 99 cents, a pack of three for $1.99, and a pack of five for $2.50. Being that we have already developed a prototype, I think the estimated amount of money to start business would be anywhere from five to $10,000. This would help us get our inventory larger and help us with promoting the product to wholesalers. We have been thinking about selling around 80% to wholesalers and 20% direct to customer. We think this is a reasonable ratio because we believe that most of our customers will purchase through a wholesaler, such as a grocery store, but we want to keep room for people who decide to purchase the product on their own through a grocery store or a cafe. That's all for our presentation. Thank you for taking time out of your Sunday. All righty. Thank you, Spread Stick, for that presentation. Judges, five minutes, questions and answers.
I'll start. I love the idea. I have a toddler. It's wonderful. Um, are you guys planning to provide a mechanism for consumers to take whatever butter they purchase, put it into the stick? Or are you planning to go to market with a particular company to have that packaging available in the grocery stores? We, that's a very good question because we thought about that being that would we sell just the container to the brands that produce the butter or would we make our own? But I think that we would end up going with making the whole product because we could eventually turn it into a possible line with either like a garlic butter stick or a cinnamon sugar butter stick. So I think we have a lot of room to work with this product and there's a lot of space to grow. So you make the butter and you make the container? Yes. All right. Let's talk, uh, uh, let me ask you uh, a question. We'll, we'll, looks like the judges will do it in this circular order. How about that? So um, let, let's talk a little bit. The, the, the container itself would be made of plastic, I presume? Yes. Like you mentioned a glue stick as kind of a reference point. Do you have thoughts around, you know, with the, the, um, uh, the sustainability agenda um, and what that would mean in terms of, you know, adding a lot of potential plastic into the environment? Um, that's a very good question. I mean, I believe down the road that finding a better way to make it without dealing with pollution and things like that would definitely be in our near future. But as of now, we just have the design as a plastic glue stick. Okay. You mentioned about uh, making your own butter. Um, so how's that uh, materialized and also what going to use the five to ten k for you know and break it down so we actually developed a patented process of removing the parts of the cream which make ordinary butter hard to spread at, spread at normal fridge temperature because if you just throw this in it'll be way too hard and hard to spread so we found a way that we can make it where it's in the fridge and it's not getting too hard to the point where there's no use for it so your butter will still be spreadable after you put in the fridge? I mean, at the fridge yes. temperature? Yes. The 5 to 10K that you estimated for startup, does that include kind of figuring out the packaging as well as manufacturing the butter? Yes, it does. And what are your plans on marketing? Maybe you can elaborate a bit on how you're going to get the uh, word out. Um, I think a lot of nowadays social media is a good way to kind of advertise your product. I mean, I feel like everyone at some point sees something on their phone that they've never heard of and go, wow, that's interesting. I could use one of those. And now that technology is so integrated into our lifestyles, it's something that everyone has at their pocket. So I think using ads on social media would help bring good awareness or even trying to get like posters of it at grocery stores or just something that can bring attention to customers. All righty, any other questions? All right, thanks judges. Thanks Spreadstick for your presentation today. Well done, well done. Shout out to Venus as your coach as well. All right, thanks for that.